be in tune with the energy of the healer. There is a difference between healers and warlocks, or you want to call it a witch and a um, a medicine man or a medicine woman, right? Or or even somebody that is just in tune with a spirit, the nature spirits, or in tune with the mother earth to bring healing energy, right? So, you know, we also call them light magicians or alchemists. Um, in Egypt, they were called sim priests uh, for Sekhmet, the goddess of medicine, healing, warfare, th different things like that. Uh, why, versus, you know, uh, the warlocks, which is more like your dark mages, dark witches, um, you know, all these different things like that, these different service to self beings, we like to say, right? While a shaman is the healer, whether he heals you physically, spiritually, or he is ultimately a vital part of society, right? They play into the, the heart chakra or the, the, the internal. We're talking about the green energy and we're talking about also the subconscious mind of the mother. So the energy of Michael is in this aspect, in his etheric aspect, right? In this green energy, right? And Raphael is the emerald green ray. So you should understand this healing is brought all throughout the green. This is why when you deal with the heart chakra, it's always talking about the green. So this is why when you talk about he, um, certain scriptures about Jesus saying, Lie, he lieth me down in green pastures and and um, and um these different scriptures about being in the field, you understand these are talking about levels of consciousness, but also it, it's it's a way of you understanding the green energy when we're talking about the heart chakra and, and not just being a, a balance point or a medium point, but the heart chakra ultimately being you know a healing aspect of energy being able to rejuvenate oneself and rejuvenate others in the spirit internally so when you're talking about which is also like uh if, if you talk about an egyptian which is also like tahuti and osiris right uh the feminine internal aspect to be specific right so or or like isis and nephis when you're talking about creation energy so these forces are, are natural nature being called Natsir or, or Netsuru, right? And so you understand that you have these angelic energies that are coming from the divine rays, which is Michael in his higher aspect. And then you have Michael in his lower aspect, which is teaching you about him in his in his green etheric energy. So so this is this relationship. This is why uh, when you're talking about Thoth or you're talking about the Kedusha staff, or staff of Hermes, right? Uh, this is why it's on ambulance trucks and in, in hospitals and different things like that. Okay, right? So because even Yeshua, learning from Melchizedek or the green one, Al Qadir, right? Uh, Archangel Michael in his earthly form, you do research on Thoth and Melchizedek, you'll understand this connection and you understand the green energy uh, of healing is is brought by an internal balance of oneself. So what we we like to call this this zero point energy, right? Or or implosion or the ability to be able to unite the masculine and feminine energies uh you know, two conflicting forces and the you know, the positive and negative and be able to bring this union between them, right? So this is this is what this like a uh but still having that slight tilt in the positive, right? But you're talking about the earth is on an axis of twenty three point five degrees, right? So on a procession of the equinox, when you're talking about the the North Star, right? So when you're dealing with the North Star and you're dealing with what you call uh, Polaris, you know, you have a South Polaris and North Polaris, which is just talking about the poles. Uh, you want to be able to connect to the poles because the poles can, you know, connect you to, you know, the all, which we like to call, um, you know, you have the source, which is God. And then you have everything that is everything that we call the all. So you are connecting to this equinox when you do this internal thing so which is to be in complete alignment with source energy right so this is what the healer does internally before he even goes out to heal somebody else so he unites his own being first normally the healer deals with internal or external issues which causes him to go inside so having the wisdom of the mother to use her energy to heal oneself meaning anything that deals with the natural elements so when he goes to heal others, he's already has the wisdom on how to heal someone uh, that is in a fractured state of consciousness or a fractured state of being, knowing that every physical condition is a product of a spiritual force. So we understand that a spiritual that everything that happens in the physical is only a product of the spirit. And the way to to ultimately heal 
the physical bodily ailments is to be in, in tune with the natural spiritual forces and elements. So we, when we speak on the elements and how they use the energies of the elementals to harness healing powers, uh, they are utilizing the spirit forces and the herbs to heal all type of bodily ailments from diseases to this bodily functions. They use the drum to call upon certain spirits and help people connect directly to the spirit world. Also to, to uh, play these different tones and tempos that are being played. This aligns with certain frequencies of energy in the rattle that clears and purifies people's energy field and drives off negative spirits. So pretty much this is like, this is getting them in that, to that trance state where they are, um, where we learn about frequency and how to ride the wave, ride the serpent, right? And, and so, you know, riding the serpent just deals with the waveform and, and learning how to be, you know, in tune or in vibration with certain frequencies, which will ultimately keep you, uh, you know, basically teach you how to, you know, stay in alignment, how to ride the wave, how to ride the serpent. When you talk about, especially in the subconscious realm, the mother is the serpent. So you dealing with the waveform, you're dealing with, you feel me, navigating the, 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 the parts that of you that you can't see with the physical body, with the physical eyes. You have to be able to feel it and sense it and then be able to turn this feeling into sight. So shamans really isolate themselves like the hermit because they're always willing to help others. But they need to be, you know, outside of the city. They need to be outside of the city environment where negative space is not conducive for the practices. They need to be able to, you know, be into that, get into that space and have that energy feel clear. So nowadays, when, in the case of social media, you know, shamans are probably a little more, you know, mainstream and, and prevalent and different things like that. Are you talking about healers being, you know, more mainstream as you see people like even medical uh, doctors and different things that are into spirituality nowadays, like uh, Sam, um, forgot his last name, but um, uh, I forgot, I mean, he's on Instagram, I'm gonna look him up later, but so basically that time alone is what you need to meditate. You need to be able to meditate and be in that middle place. You you need to be able to cal calibrate the mind and be able to have your focus and attention mm -hmm. on a particular mm -hmm. energy or spirit that needs to be invoked. Because you're talking about how every energy is a product of a spiritual force. So it's not evil. You need to learn because you're doing this all, all the time when you indulge in certain things in your everyday life anyways. So when you're talking about even down to drinking some, some, some type of drink, you have some type of elements that's connected to certain spiritual forces. So you just want to know that when you're in tune with this, you're in tune with the force of the mother when you're talking about um, this feminine energy and uh, Gaia. So we're talking about even down to the process of psychedelics and smoking weed. This is why, you know, people smoke weed because it, it ultimately leads you, leads you to that subconscious state of mind and it gets you into, in tune into certain higher spaces. So you seem to be able to feel the energy of the unseen and be able, just like even connecting to mushrooms, which is still more like the mother earth energy and like, um, you know, ay ayahuasca, which is more potent and higher frequency than shrooms. So you, you have a complete ego death with these substances because, you know, ultimately being that healer energy will teach you that you need to master the subconscious mind or the dreams, the meditation, when you're talking about the breathing, these different things, you start to realize that earth speak of being in this trance state of, of the drum, just realizing that the earth speaks, you feel me? And she is likened to a serpent and the process of this internal spiraling and, and splitting herself to create the physical realms, the masculine and feminine, which is all a part of her. So you are just realizing these things and the sun is, is in her womb. You feel what I'm saying? The, the the masculine God comes from the feminine mother. This is why you go to your mother when you need nurturing, when you need healing. So you need this to be able to go and heal somebody else. You need to be able to cultivate this inside of you to be able to go heal somebody else. Now that you have done, have the healing on yourself, now you have the experience to go heal somebody else anywhere out in reality because you have done this healing. So this is the, the, the journey of how you do the alchemy, but also how you become embody this green energy when you want to heal somebody else. So make sure y'all like, follow, subscribe, and uh, I'm going to get a little more personal with y'all on some of these topics as we start to, as I start to tap into more of the intuitive nature of what I'm talking about. I've done a lot of the teaching and showed a lot of the videos of the teaching. I still have those, but you know, it's going to be a lot of intuitive talks and things like that, but yeah. Appreciate y'all's bad memo.